Welcome to the discussion. In this discussion, we're going to look at SLAs, or service level agreements, which are essentially the contracts that are going to govern a lot of things that we do in the cloud. If we've got a company that's providing our platform as a service, then we're going to have service level agreements that have different requirements on that company, such as security, such as uptime, such as um, backup into um, basket recovery. And so, depending on your particular company's purpose and function and needs, your service um, level agreement may differ from other types. Um, that said, for most cloud-based operations, most cloud-based software, they are going to have standard terms and clauses in it. So I'm interested in what you would find as the key things that you'd like to see in a service level agreement. And as you're thinking about that, a lot of times we're now um, outsourcing our cloud to different countries, um, what's going to be the enforceability of your service level agreement? So if you um, outsource the cloud to Mexico, and then you later have a legal issue, um, you have some more good to stand on. And if you've got a service level agreement with a company that's going to be providing a software solution for you, a SAAS based solution, who owns the data um, should the things go bad? How are they going to export the data should things go bad? So what are the things that you're concerned about in a software environment as well? So I look forward to your post and I will see you in the threads.